Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to rotate video in Final Cut Pro. And you're also going to learn how to make sure your video is always level. Whether you're wanting to create a cool rotating effect, or simply want to rotate a vertically shot video to horizontal, rotating video inside Final Cut Pro is super easy to do. That's of course if you know how to. Let's start with a vertically shot video that needs to be adjusted to fill the horizontal frame. While you could simply zoom into the clip to fill the frame, you'll find you lose a lot of the clip off screen and lose a lot of quality. So instead, let's try rotating by 90 degrees to fit a commonly used horizontal frame. With your clip selected, go over to rotate in the video inspector. Depending on the way you want to rotate the clip, either rotate to 90 degrees or 270 degrees. You can also rotate by clicking the transform icon above the timeline to the left and dragging the rotate toggle in the viewer. And now rather than zooming in too much, you can simply scale until it fills the frame. Now let's take a look at a clip that just needs some slight rotation because the horizon is off center. Of course, you could roughly gauge where level is, but you can also use the horizon tool found in the view menu as a guide to ensure your clip is perfectly level. Even with the horizon tool on, it can be difficult to ensure your clip is still level because your guideline in the clip, in this case, the actual horizon, may be further above or below the horizon tool. So we suggest taking the following steps. Adjust your clip position using the X and Y values in the video inspector to bring your clip guideline closer to the horizon tool. From here, simply adjust your rotation to make your clip level. And you can also double click on the number to enter in a more precise value. Once you're happy that your clip is level, reset the X and Y axis to reset your clip back to its original position. And depending on the amount of rotation your clip needed, you may notice some free space in the corners because there isn't any footage to fill the frame. But not to worry, you can simply scale until it fills the frame. The final step is to turn the horizon tool back off by deselecting it from the view menu. And now you're good to go. And there you have it. You've just learned how to rotate video in Final Cut Pro and how to make sure your footage is always level. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video on how to rotate video in Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all of our awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Yeah.